Hey guys, my name is Scott Gaylor. I'm here today to talk to you about the Groove Gear Fret Wedge. This is simple. It is a muter that goes behind the nut to basically take care of the secondary overtones, especially with high gain and high volume. Today, I am playing through a Mezzo Boogie Mark V, channel three in the Mark IV setting. Gain is roughly around eight. I'm at about 95 dB in volume. And I'm doing this today unmiked with a shotgun mic on purpose so that you're hearing the room, you're hearing the noise that it's gonna make. So what you're listening for, okay, is that high pitched overtone. And you get that with a high gain amp, particularly in the settings. And that's a, a big part of what the original fret wrap was used for, guys using it behind the nut to take away those overtones with heavy music, particularly live. So I'm gonna play a couple things and I'm gonna show you where that sits. And then I'm gonna put the fret wedge on and show you that as well. So here you go. <laughs> You can really hear it in the higher frequencies and, and trust me in here, it's actually crazy loud. So now I am going to put on the fret wedge itself. So the fret wedge is just an angled piece of hard plastic, actually rubberized plastic with a piece of Velcro on the top, soft-sided, and some memory foam. And you're just gonna pinch it and gently snug it underneath the nut itself. And it just sits right behind there I'm going to check my tuning really quick. 90% of the time on the tellies, I don't have to retune. Uh, if you're using a Floyd, you will probably have to loosen the strings a little bit. Yeah, I did have to tune my B there a little bit. Uh, that's not too bad. So what you're hearing now is the fret wedge. So it's just behind the nut. If you saw it, it took three seconds to install, nothing big. <laughs> As you can see, all that high end, that kind of buzziness is gone. That, that frequency is just, it's been removed. It's been set up here. So now the next question is, well, I already have a fret wrap. Why do I need a fret wedge? Well, simple. As soon as you put this on, you're covered, right? You got it behind the nut. All those frequencies are gone. Simple, nice and easy. But when you move this, those frequencies have the tendency to be able to come back. And so what this does, is now you got coverage from both ends. And you can slide it back in place really easy. Plus, if you're a Floyd user like I am 90% of the time, it's really hard to kind of get this moving over the nut easily. So what this does is it allows you to sit it softly up top so you've got everything open still. But you can slide it up and down via, say, Guthrie Govan or Greg Howler players like that. So that's it. This is the Groove Gear Fret Wedge. It is available on their website at GrooveGear.com. Comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. The actual neck dimensions of those sizes will be in the video description. My name is Scott Gaylor. I hope you had a good time. Please like, hit, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you on the road with the Scott Gaylor Trio sometime before Winter Nam. Peace.